everyone that's here. Um, it's such a nice day. We've been waiting for it for a long time, and it's beautiful. The weather is beautiful. The company is beautiful. Everything about it is great. And we had some special help setting all this up. We have some family that we just got acquainted with, and thank you guys for helping us through all this. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> well, I'm going to start out with something. Um, I told everybody I didn't write a speech, and I haven't, but I'm going to read something that I had written to Julia December 22nd, 2013. And this was something that um, I just wrote and gave to her for Christmas. I don't know. Remember, Jules? You remember? I don't know if you have it still, but I just want to, I want to read it. Just so we can see how this all came about, anyways. Julia, where does the time go? You've grown to be a beautiful young woman. So many changes have made you who you are. When we watch our old videos, I see a little girl that was full of smiles and growls, and laughter, <laughs> and a great imagination. You were always able to escape to your own little world of make-believe and live in that moment. You could be a horse, a princess, a whale. You'd be totally content. You've always been so easy. And throughout your life, I've seen you overcome many things. And you're a stronger young woman now. You've gained self-confidence and I respect you for who you are and what you've become. As a dad, it's my dream to have a daughter that looks up to me as someone that will always that she will always respect, knowing that I will always love and protect her. I hope you can do that. I realize that there will be a boy or there will be a day that a new man will be that for you. I pray that when that day comes, for you to give your heart to someone, someone else, that he will love you like I do and protect you as long as he lives. I also pray that you find someone that loves God and will help you live for him. Being a parent is so full of many challenges and some that I've, I've failed at horribly but I hope that I've had a positive effect in your life. And the good things that you've experienced will be something you can pass along to your children if you are blessed with them. You've given your life to God, and it's my prayer that you never leave him. He will guide your steps if you walk with him. Julia, I love you with every piece of my being and will protect you till the day I die. I hope that Someday you understand the depth of my love for you and your thoughts are full of good memories. May God bless you with happiness and love this year and may all your dreams keep you living for him. I love you, Dad. That was 10 years ago and here we are. Jack is that new man that is to love and protect you, just as Mike talked about today. And Jack, so many people ask me what it's like. What's it like? Your daughter's getting married. What's it like? I said, well, Jack is a dad's dream for his daughter. And I love you. I'm proud of you for all that you've done, the whole thing, for your work, who you are, you're a leader. I can't ask for anything better than that. And Jules, I told you I wouldn't come up here and say embarrassing things. There's not really anything on Julia. I mean, I talked in here about her land of make-believe and she went through stages. 
she loved Free Willy for a while and she acted like a whale. <laughs> she was a princess. She loved horses and galloped around the house. Um, but the growling thing, <laughs> those that know Julia, <laughs> when Julia was Juniper's age, or maybe a little older, and she loved to wear dresses. That's all she would wear. And Ronette would go out shopping or whatever, and you know, a nice little lady would say, Aren't you so pretty? And Julia would go, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she did it all the time. She growled. So, <laughs> Jack, if you ever hear that growl come back, I haven't heard it for a long time. <laughs> Good time to go get gas. <laughs> but Jack, there's things you're going to have to get used to, I think. And uh, Julia is a little bit like her mom, and she is. If you ever hear the words, let me just do that right quick. <laughs> there's, there's no right quick. No, not in Ronette's time. It's when it gets done. So. I've waited my whole life to be on time, <laughs> and uh, Jules is a little bit better, um, but still, she has her own time set, I think. Um, but there's other things that you're going to maybe learn to love. Uh, the smell of burnt hair in the morning, <laughs> the hair dryer, the flat iron, but she's doing it. I never like the smell of burnt hair, but it's, <laughs> there's a bat. No, oh, oh. no, it's a big day. No, that's cool. Oh, what is it? Wow. Anyway, it's okay. It's a praying mantis. It's a praying mantis. It's a praying mantis. It's a praying mantis. But you guys, um, and most people know here that the journey that they've been on. Uh, they met at camp, and that was uh, Mike's fault. <laughs> and we love him for it. Yeah. When Julia came home, I knew something was different. Uh, it was just different. And a few months later, maybe not even, Jack showed up at her door for a visit. And, uh, and then, of course, Jack shut the border down, like Mike said. <laughs> they lived apart for 18 months. And we're trying to get U.S. citizenship, and COVID closed the border extended their, well, their wedding date got pushed. And then Jack got a new job. Found out they're going to Kansas. We did a big move. Just before that, Julia collapsed her lung twice. And we found out she had to have surgery, so she did that last week. Came out on Tuesday. So, yeah, there's some hiccups, but look where we are today. <laughs> I know there's probably some side bets wondering if I'm gonna cry or not, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> so, I hope somebody lost some money. <laughs> but I love you guys, and you know I'm proud of you, and I'm so excited for you to finally be able to enjoy marriage like so many of us have. It's a wonderful thing. I'm excited for your Adventure, Kansas. I look forward to going there, visiting. They have a great family at the church there, by the way. Um, completely adopted them already. So they're going there not knowing anybody, but at least having 40 family members there. So it's, it's so nice. I wish you the best. I wish you... I wish you love forever. I hope the honeymoon lasts forever. And I'm so happy for you too. We are. Everything I've said is not just for me. It's it's Ronette and I. I said this to Jack today. I said, you know, if JD was here with us, he would be he'd be up here singing. He would <laughs> in whatever state he would have been in, whatever that was. And he'd probably walk up to Jack and say, if you ever heard her. <laughs> <laughs> But he would be proud of you, Jewel. You know that. And uh, we all are, all of us here. So you guys, 
go on tonight. Enjoy yourselves. Tomorrow we'll say goodbye. Only for a short time. And you go start your life together. You got a beautiful apartment. Jack, you got a great job. I, I, I just can't express how thankful I am for everything for you guys. And I'm proud of you. And I know everybody here feels the same way. So I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> it's catching up, so.